Howdy. Today, I'm going to show you how to take an image from Google Earth and drop it into SSA. If I have a background image in SSA that's scaled and georeferenced in the right spot, then I can draw areas, I can draw drainage basins, I can also import GIS data, CAD data, HECRAS data, all sorts of data from shapefiles that I can then use to build my model more accurately. So let's go. First, I'm going to go to Mount Vista. I'm going to take an image from this area. Now, when you export an image from Google Earth, it's not georeferenced and it's not scaled appropriately. So I'm going to make a couple of points on here. I'm going to drop it into CAD, and that's going to let me scale it and georeference it in the right spot. First thing I'm going to do is I want to make a folder. In my folder, I'm going to disconnect that searched feature that I put in. I'm going to create a point right here. I'm also going to create a point up in this area. Now I have two points. With two points, I can scale and georeference my drawing correctly. Now. Let's export that image and export those two points and import them into AutoCAD. To export the image, I go to File, Save As, Save Image. And I'm going to do this at the max resolution. And I'm going to save my image. Mount Vista. Next, I want to export these two points. And within AutoCAD, you can export these as what's called a KMZ file, which is a file that AutoCAD can read conveniently. OK. OK, I've opened up AutoCAD. Now, one thing to make sure and double check is that you're in the datum that you want to be working in. So if you go to tool space, edit drawing settings, I'm in the Harn Washington State Plains South, which is the datum that I typically work in. That's also where all my GIS data is located. And so working in the same datum is really important for this type of project. Now, when I import the KMZ file, which I can type in with map import, I can change this to my KMZ. And where are those in space? Well, I brought in a graphic, and I brought in three points. Now, what are those three points? One of those three points is going to be that layer that I turned off, which is that top right. I don't actually want that point. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. These other two points are sort of built in the middle of nowhere. So I'm going to build a line. And I'm going to snap to the bottom so I know exactly where that point is and I can see it better. Now, when I imported that KMZ file, it projected and removed those points to that correct datum that I have in my drawing. So again, that's why it's important to make sure you have the correct datum set up. Now, I'm going to go to my desktop where I have the Mount Vista SSA drawing. I'm going to just Control-C, copy this in. And I'm going to copy it right here. Now, it might not look like it, but this drawing is actually not the right scale, and it's not rotated correctly. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to do the align command and snap these two points to those points that I drew on here. And I'm going to snap these two yellow points to those points that I imported from the KMZ file. Now, a little hard to, to select the correct point, so I'm actually going to draw another line right at the tip, and that's where I want that to be. Double click on my mouse, but double click on the middle scroll wheel of my mouse. I can then uh, zoom out. I type in ZW for zoom window. I'm going to draw another line right here. Now double click again. Now when I type in my AL for a line command, it's going to be much easier to see and snap to where I want to go. Snap there to there. Snap second source point from there to there. And third point, not going to have scale objects based on alignment. I want to click yes. And voila, you can see those two points are now snapped right where I want them. All right, let's double check. Is this in the right spot? Now, if I have my drawing set up with that, uh, that datum, I can click on geolocation, turn it on, and here we go. Looks like it lined up pretty well. Okay, one other check I want to do. I'm going to bring in some pipes that I know are going to be within my project drawing. This is going to help me check where those line up in this project, and it's going to help me check when I bring this into SSA, are they in the right spot? I'm going to go to my edge reshape file here, and I'm going to bring these in. Now you can see these pipes are right in the middle of that road. These pipes are in the middle of that road. Okay, this looks pretty helpful. 
now that my drawing and my image in the right spot, I can actually export it out with what's called a world file. And that world file is going to tell SSA where that drawing should go. So to do that, I'm going to type in I export for image export. I'm going to do this as a TIFF file, mount Vista SSA. Sounds good to me. I'm going to uncompress it, leave it full resolution. And I usually just pick the default for this. Either one will work. Now, this is important to click the correct options. If you click, don't click burn rotation into image, the rotation is not going to come in correctly. Because this drawing, this image has a rotation, you need to click this burn rotation into image. And you also need to click world file. You'd think that GeoTIFF would work. However, I had issues bringing in SSA using the GeoTIFF option. So I would recommend using world file. OK. Now it should be in the right spot. I come into SSA, View, Layer Manager. I'm going to import this desktop, Mount Vista SSA, TIFF file. OK, moment of truth. Now I'm going to try to bring in that same shape file and see if that is in the right location. Import, File, Import, GIS. OK, I need to turn these off. There's no IDs. I'm going to recompute my pipe lengths. I'm going to generate junction nodes from pipe lengths. And I'm going to finish. And this appears to be located in the right spot, basically right where I had it in AutoCAD. All right, let's do a couple other little checks. And let's look at a couple features that you can use. Let's come in now and double check and make sure that our measurements are lined up correctly. So I'm going to click on my measurement tool. I'm going to draw this in, 47.28. In AutoCAD, do a distance command. I'm going to snap to those two points. 47.30, that's pretty much spot on. I'm going to come into Google Earth, and it's a little harder to see, but hopefully it gives me a relatively. 47.31, about, those are all pretty much the same. So I feel pretty confident that it's in the right spot. That GIS import really is going to tell me uh, that it's working well. Okay, so again, why do we do this other than being able to measure roads? You can do that in AutoCAD. Why would you do that here? Now, the real power of this, in my opinion, is that we can come in and we can draw drainage basins in with you know, relative accuracy. So now I can double click on this. I already have my acreage, acreage built in, and I can now connect this to a drainage basin. So having it scaled is super powerful. As I showed you before, bringing in GIS data is really powerful. I can bring in HECRAS data. I can bring in anything that I can convert to a shapefile, and that's in the right coordinate system. So I hope you found this a really helpful tool. I find uh, having an image behind my drawing in SSA is super powerful. hope you find this video and information as helpful as I did. Uh, please leave your feedback, leave any comments or likes, um, and please subscribe if you find my content valuable. Hope you're doing well. Have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.